Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let me show you an easy way of drawing a baseball glove and bat. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this, and to begin, we're gonna start right in the middle, which is gonna be where the index finger is gonna be. So we're gonna draw just one little hump like this first, and then we're gonna draw the rest of the fingers, and we're gonna slant it down slightly. So we're gonna curve one more. So that's one, two, three, and then one more, four. Okay, so those are the four fingers, and then here's the thumb on this side. Before we draw that, we're gonna come down with this line here. Let's draw one big curve coming down first. And then now come over here. So if you come down and come across, and we're seeing the thumb from the side, so it's a little bit thinner. And then once you have this, you're gonna curve this and just close everything off. And then one more detail here. I'm gonna take this line, just extend it. Okay, and then now we can fill in the rest of the glove. So from this point here, just gonna come all the way down. And then this side, we're gonna draw the same curve. So it's gonna be opposite of the other one. Okay, and then from the bottom here, we just round it off and close it off. It's a little bit straighter. All right, so yeah, so it's a very strange looking hand, right? Okay, so now let's fill in the uh, some of the details. So right across here, from this point here in the middle, I'm just gonna draw one big curve connecting to this. And then we got, this is gonna be a strap, so we're gonna come down, let's draw another curve, same thing. And let's draw in one more on the bottom right here. One more line and then this is gonna be another strap. And I guess it will be a little bit easier to see. Let's just add in some stitching right now. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of these little dots, dotted lines all the way across. Okay, so now we can see those as straps. And then for a little bit more detail in the middle here, there's gonna be a strap going down. And this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. It's gonna come in all the way down to the center. And again, if we can add in a little bit of stitching. All right, so let's just go ahead and finish up this part first before we add in the uh, other details. So on the top here, I'm gonna add in a little bit more of these little stitchings. So I'm just gonna draw two lines and then just Kind of close it off. Four, and then I'll try to add one more here. So you don't have to follow exactly the same as long as you have some of these uh, details. That should be fine. All right, so now let's uh, finish up the fingers down here. So from this corner here, we just go down, just stop right around here. And then we're gonna continue with this. Dividing up the fingers. All right, and then in between the fingers, we're gonna add in those little straps. So easier way to draw it is, you can just draw a line first and then just turn it into a rectangle. Another line and then another rectangle. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna shade this in black anyway, so it doesn't matter if it overlaps. And then we're gonna draw one more line here. So we have to connect all these. Okay, two rectangles and then shade it in. One more down here. All right, and then, okay, let's come down here first. On this part here, there's a little bit of a, I'm not sure what part it's called, but it's got a big stitch right here. So just come in on both sides, 
and then we're just gonna draw one curve all the way around so we're just following it through and then within this line here just gonna add a bunch of little bars around so these are the same thing as things on the top here so we just go all the way around And then since we're down here, let's go ahead and draw in the opening for the glove. So we'll come back up here, just come down, come up here, slant it down, and then round it off, close it off. And we'll add the same border as this. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. And then if we want, let's just go ahead and add a little bit of stitching lines. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, and then to finish out the details here, let's add one stripe on the thumb area right here. Just gonna draw one line. And then I'm gonna add in those big stitchings here. And the easy way to draw that is just draw a bunch of lines down first, following this curve. And then once you have that, just turn them into rectangles. Okay, and then same thing here. I'm gonna draw two curves like that. And just turn them into rectangles. And then we can add a couple more in here. One, two, or let's do three. Okay, and then let's add in just two more smaller ones up here. All right, so that is it for the glove. And if you want to draw in a baseball bat, it's actually really simple. Just let me turn this around so you can see a little bit better. So for the baseball bat, we can just draw in two lines like this first, just two parallel lines. And then right here on the tip, just curve it, round it off. And then on the back here, from this two points, just kind of taper it in slightly. And then once you have that, from this two point, again, we're gonna draw another parallel line. Just go all the way back. Okay, and then once you have that, just kind of go out. Come down slightly and then just round it off and close everything off. And if you wanna add a little bit more detail, we can add another line curve inside. Alright, so that is it for this uh, baseball glove and bat. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.